I'm in Sunshine right now and this is a EVDC fast charging hub and look at that no queue and these are the superchargers so these are four ways DC power charging solutions so what you see over here these are all using liquid cool DC charging nozzles which can output up to 600 kilowatts of DC fast charging as you can see it's pretty light and they are liquid cool this is the newer 600 kilowatt DC charger and this is the older DC charger so this can do up to 250 kilowatts of DC charging as you can see these are not liquid cool so the cables are a little bit more heavier as well and to pay just scan using the QR code using your WeChat and other apps and then you can just activate the charger from your smartphone so over here you get three cabinets so these are Huawei's power cabinets for the DC chargers and over that side you have a battery energy storage system so this has a capacity of 430 kilowatt hour and you also get charging from the solar panels up here so you have these uh, PVs with Huawei inverters over that side so we've been told that this solar system can generate 150 kilowatt hour of energy per day and what's interesting there's variable pricing as well during the off-peak hours you can get as low as uh, 45 cents rupee. that's about 30 cents per kilowatt hour super cheap and during peak hours it goes as high as 141 RMB, which is equivalent to about 80 cents pricing for charging in china is very very affordable and you also get free two hours of parking here so it's more than enough for fast charging guys these charging locations deploy at a cost of 7.5 million RMB or about 4.5 million ringgit and over 200 vehicles charge at this location on a daily basis and next to the charging station there's this uh, kiosk over here and you can see here one cup of coffee and you're good to go so this is EV charging life guys charge your car have coffee and go back and your car is good to go join our EV user group and purchase our limited edition no queue sticker today